Welcome to Busy Minds Tutorials and Entertainment. Today we want to learn how to use a keyframe to control opacity in our video. So you can see my Adobe Premiere Pro is already open and I already have the word Busy Mind. So I'll, I'll be using the um, opacity keyframe on this word so that when the video plays to a point, uh, we control the opacity of this video. So click on the word to, to add the opacity keyframe now. Click on the on the word on your timeline. Then go up to the top of the, of the other application. Click on head control. Then come down to opacity. Then click the arrow beside opacity to expand the property. Click it. So the first thing you want to do is to click the stop push beside opacity. After clicking the stop push, the second thing you want to do is to drag the plate head on your video on the timeline drag it to from the beginning of the video from the beginning of the world on the timeline to another point so the third thing is to add the number there to change the number so that's how you had opacity to so change the number there so you can see now let's have our keyframe now so first thing click the stopwatch Second thing is to drag the playhead to a point from the beginning. You can see I'm dragging it. Then third one is to change the time there. So that's the third thing you do. You can see we've added the two keyframes. We've added the keyframes. So if you take the video back and play it, you can see. So to so you can see the two keyframes there. So all you want to do is to render it now so that it plays smoothly so that you see the effects. So it's rendering now. So remember the first thing is to click the stop push beside opacity. The second thing is to drag the play edge from the beginning of the video to a point where you want the, um, the opacity to take effect the keyframe. The third one is to change the number there. So it's finished rendering now. So you can see our video coming from zero opacity. Say it's so if you want to make it fast or slow, it depends. You have to change, move the second keyframe from one point to the other. So, so that's how you achieve this effect of opacity. You can see when the video plays from beginning, the, the video, uh, you know, from the beginning, the video is zero opacity. So when it begins to play, you see the video begins to appear. So that's how I make things opacity keyframe.